So what's going on guys? Um, and it's uh, Christmas day and it's Monday, so I'm still gonna do my Mazda Monday. So today, what um, we're gonna do, last week we went over the 2.5 liter um, dyno with the supercharger. This week we're doing the 2.0 liter um, dyno with the supercharger. And also since you know we're already on a dyno, I decided to test the one thing that most guys do on the 2.0 liter, regardless if they're supercharged or not, um, is a 2.5 liter throttle body upgrade. And so, you know, most people say it doesn't add horsepower. Some people say it does. And, but the majority of the people, does, you know, they come to the conclusion that the main um, point in getting the throttle body is for a better throttle response um, due to a bigger open area. Um, so what we're going to do today, we're going to test it on a dyno to find out if there's any kind of horsepower gain at all with adding the 2.5 liter throttle body. So what we did was, um, you know, like I said, I try to eliminate variables. Um, and I also want to show you guys what happens, um, with, uh, the ECU that has been driven on like a ECO to ECU, ECU tune, sorry, that has been driven on for like a hundred, hundred to 200 miles versus um, a freshly flash tune. So what I've noticed is like a lot of times when you've driven a car really hard, um, over time, if you know, you might have had bad gas or something like that, or um, you know, the car ended up in a situation where it started to detect knock, um, the car will try to protect itself. So what a lower ignition timing. Um, and whatnot, because you know you have basic ignition timing and you have your max and minimums. So the car is always trying to find out what ignition timing is best for it. So what I wanted to do today, we're gonna put the car on a dyno, and what we did was we just did a, you know calibrated the dyno for the 2.0 liter, did a run right. We did a couple runs with the the tune that was already on the car for a couple hundred miles. Then what I did was we reflashed that same tune. Did a couple more runs to see if the car picked up power because it didn't have these learned um, ignition timing tables and whatnot. And then after we did that, without making any adjustments, add the throttle body to see if there's any difference from just adding a throttle body on there without making any changes or letting the ECU adapt to it. And then after that, we reset the tune one more time and find out, you know, with a fresh tune. Um, with the ECU, you know, having a chance to calculate, you know, everything with the, you know, fresh tune, see if the power is the same or if it's more, right? So the whole goal today is really just to find out the 2.0 liter numbers. But since we are already got the car on the dyno, we're going to test the throttle body with it. So let's just go to the video, see what kind of numbers we get. Um, I'm actually happy with the numbers for the 2.0. I wanted a little bit more, but for what it is, it's great. So let's get to the video and then we'll come back and talk about some things.
did two pulls. Um, the car's consistently making 204 to 205 wheel horsepower and like 202 to 203 wheel torque. So what we're gonna do now, that was when the, the tune was like learned that he's been driving on for a while. I reflash the tune fresh. Uh, we're gonna get the numbers to see if they're exactly the same. After we do this, uh, we're gonna throw on the 2.5 liter throttle body and see if it makes a difference. We just reflashed the tune, we did it fresh, and I just wanna show you guys what's the difference when you do a fresh flash versus a learned flash. So he was getting 203, 204 earlier, and then we reflashed the tune because when the tune is flashed and it's learning your driving habits, it lowers power if there's any kind of ignition timing pull like because of the load. So right now his car actually made more power just from reflashing the tune, All right? So he's at 207 right now. We're gonna do one more run like this. And then after this, I'm not gonna reflash the tune. I'm gonna swap the, uh, the 2.5 liter throttle body and we'll see if it gains power. If it doesn't gain power, uh, we're still gonna reflash the tune one more time to let the car learn with the throttle body on there and see what we gain. So he's he's hoping for 215. We'll we'll see what happens. All right. So right now, Jaden's taking off his two liter throttle body. I'm gonna swap it out with a two five throttle body. Uh, he got it over here. He got a cheap one. I think this is like 25 30 bucks. It's a really old one off of 2014. So we'll see what happens. A 25 dollar mod to see if it makes a difference. The outer diameter is the same, so you can use the same intake. But the main difference you're going to notice on the 2.5 versus the 2.0 is right here. And this is right where your plate's at. So we're gaining some uh, some opening area right here. And the back side is going to be smaller on this versus that. So pretty much the difference is this lip right here, this is non-existent up in the 2.5. So the, here's his numbers right now. First run without reflashing with the bigger throttle body. Got a little bit more torque, so we're gonna see what happens. We're recording. So yeah, we uh we just picked up another wheel horsepower, and that is with the aftermarket um, throttle body. So one wheel horsepower after it had time to learn after two or three pulls. All right, so now what we're gonna do is get him a little bit of air, better airflow, because right now he has no air flowing over this. Most cars have uh, like two or three fans, so what we're gonna do is gonna do another pull, and I'm gonna let his car actually catch some air, because on the interstate, on the road, you'll have more airflow coming from underneath the car into the engine bay. that put out like 15 mile an hour wind. So when you actually put the fan where it's supposed to be, we got 210, 207 torque. So that's what we're working with right now, not bad. All right, so as you guys saw, the car made 210 wheel horsepower with 207 foot pounds of torque, right? It's pretty good for a 2.0 liter, um, considering the displacement, it actually made more power per liter than a 2.5 liter kit, right? So that was all on the same tune. I did not make any adjustments to the tune. The only thing that changed was I flashed a tune to refresh it. Um, but other than that, the tune was exactly the same. Now, I didn't record it on this video and we might get it tested on another car, but after I did this video, I decided to do some calibrations for the actual throttle body because, you know, with that throttle body, the car is still going to try to close the throttle angle to what it is supposed to be because we are drive by wire. So the throttle is electronically controlled. So um, it was a make, it was making its own adjustments for for the, um, the throttle body. And that's and the, the issue with that is we threw on a two point five liter throttle body. Right. So its calculations it was trying to make was um, not accurate. So now after this video, 
already did it, by the way. Um, I calibrated the 2.0 liter and gave it the correct, you know, calibration for a 2.5 liter throttle body. And so I already tested this on the car on the road and they said the difference was dramatic. So without calibrations, you know, you can only expect to pick up one wheel horsepower, right? But with the proper calibrations that you actually get a tune with the throttle body, it might be more. We don't know yet. I'm going to try to throw it on a dyno. But for now, we know without cal uh, calibrations, you'll pick up one wheel horsepower. And that might be due to less, um, you know, resistance because of the size of the throttle body. But as far as everything else goes, it's, it's like I said, it really didn't add too much power. But we're going to find out what happens if you actually combine the throttle body with a proper tune for it. Um, that won't be on the next video. That'll be a couple videos from now. Um, we're, the next video I'm going to do, we're going to be talking about a different platform. Because I want to cover all Skyactiv platforms. So we're going to start talking about turbochargers. Um, so that's it for today, guys. Keeping it short and simple. Like always, catch you later.